For a weary pterosaur, this one may be a welcome place to rest. But it's far from safe. A huge mosasaur, a deadly underwater hunter, is looking for an easy meal. Such as this little dinosaur, Salmoxes. Staying here is too risky. He needs a larger raft and quickly. Feeding amongst these pine saplings, Tethys Hadros. This is Cynosuchus. It's not a dinosaur, but a miniature relative of crocodiles. One that lives almost entirely on land and is strictly vegetarian. Jungasaurus, Madagascar's top hunter. The island is also home to another group of very unusual animals. Mammals. This is a female Adalatherium. She's less than two feet long, but even so, she's still one of the largest mammals to have yet evolved. Mashikasaurus. Hunter, and one particularly well adapted for catching burrowing prey. But hunters may themselves become the hunted. Matsoya, a snake nearly 25 feet long, squeezes its prey to death. A thermal camera reveals a huddle of glowing bodies. Improbata, hunters. A Morosaurus. A plant eater for whom winter is inevitably a very hard time. But they may nonetheless get visitors. Hatsegopteryx.
This male has arrived carrying a 40 pound Tethys hadros carcass, a prize from a recent hunt. This is the largest expanse of lava to flood the Earth for 100 million years. And yet, giants risk their lives traveling here. Icy sores. And all are females. Hidden in these narrow canyons, is a new family of velociraptors. The young are just a few weeks old. that in such a barren place, they face an uncertain future. Long-necked Nemectosaurs are joined by Mongolian Titanosaurs. them much smaller Pranocephaly. Asia's version of Tyrannosaurus rex. Having clever, caring parents can give youngsters an excellent start. And here in the badlands of Asia, there are few more dedicated dinosaur parents than these. A colony of nesting Corythoraptors. A few days ago, females laid eggs on these circular mounds. But the job of brooding them falls to the males. A female Kurukula, a relative of Velociraptors. She is extremely hungry, but wary of the Corythoraptors' powerful beaks and claws. But she has one key advantage. Her night vision is better than that of the owners of the nests. This is one of the driest places on Earth. Without water, no animal can survive. Yet this is home to these young Tarchia. They are desert-living ankylosaurs.
heavily armored with huge clubbed tails. Desert oases like this one. A lifesaver for animals that can find them. Prenocephaly. In badlands, it helps to synchronize their hatching. cleared the toxic gases, the door opens for predators. A Rajasaur. With so many babies out in the open, this could be a feast. And that makes them potential sanctuaries for new life. A young pterosaur. And as dark it, just a few hours old. Sucus, 15 feet long predators. Here in the wetlands of South America, long summer days are fueling a greater feast. These swamps a ferocious three foot long garfish. giant Austro-Raptor. They are relatives of Velociraptors, but much, much bigger. As pools and channels refill, the animals return. Lurking in these muddy pools is a monster. <laughs> Beelzebufo, the devil toad. It's so big it can swallow a small dinosaur whole. This isn't quite what he was hoping for. Fifty foot long Rapito soils. Now bone dry. Nonetheless, some dinosaurs still linger here. The herd of Bachycephalosaurs. These are creatures with thick dome-shaped skulls. Here in spring, new plant growth. 
growth creates excellent feeding grounds for the gathering herds. But where there are large numbers of plant eaters, there are great hunters. land predators on the planet. A giant mosasaur. Mosasaurs are ferocious, 50-foot-long monsters. Taking refuge in the reef is Phosphorosaurus. She too is a mosasaur, one of the smallest at less than 10 feet long. She spends the daylight hours hiding from danger. But once or twice an hour, she has to dart to the surface to grab a breath. Like all of her kind, she is air breathing. spectacular of these nighttime visitors are a type of lanternfish. Their faint, eerie light is produced by a chemical reaction inside their bodies. A flash of this bioluminescence can be used to confuse predators. shallow seas of North America, fish numbers can almost match the nocturnal lanternfish shoal. And they are a magnet for six-foot-long Hesperornis. Hesperonis don't have the shoal to themselves for long. Zephactinus, known as X-fish. The feeding opportunity soon attracts them in large numbers. At over 17 feet long, they are one of the largest and fastest fish in the ocean. eggs. Thousands of them. To rock pools. Food for scavengers like these baby pyro-raptors. <laughs> Provide the only shelter for thousands of miles.
In this rare place, Tarangosaurus, a kind of elasmosaur, finds safety. foot-long Mosasaurus. Of the baby ammonites that escaped the rock pools, less than one in a hundred has survived several months at sea. But these few have been particularly lucky. This strange six-foot-long giant is Baculites, which feeds near the sea floor. And almost matching it in size, Diplomoceros, shaped like a giant paperclip. Protruding spiral identifies them as young Nostoceros. These are adult Nostoceros. They favor the seafloor in deeper waters. Making it accessible once more for a giant seasonal visitor. Moturnaria, a strange type of elasmosaur. They are warm-blooded with a thick layer of blubber which conserves the heat in their body. The coast of the vast inland sea that almost splits North America in half. Here in the south, as the tide falls, giants are drawn to the shoreline. These alamosaurs are 100 feet long and weigh some 80 tons. They are the largest dinosaurs on the continent. Dawn. And these troodontids have picked up a scent. They're quick to investigate anything new. Especially if it might be worth eating. Tyrannosaurus Rex. North America's top predator. With his six inch long teeth, tearing through an Alamosaurus tough skin is not a problem. But a carcass as big as this soon attracts more formidable competition. Quetzalcoatlus, a giant pterosaur. One of the few creatures that will challenge an adult tyrannosaur. In the waters that surround North America, there are other giant predators. But they have no rivals. Mosasaurs.
They may look like huge sharks, but they are in fact a kind of aquatic lizard. Tiger ammonites, sphenodiscus. Every year, huge shoals of females come up from deep water and travel towards the coast. Flocks of Stigineta, a primitive relative of ducks, stop here on their travels. And they're not alone. Dinosaurs are here, too. A family of Pectinodon. They're feathered, but flightless. Flies. The larvae of these insects are able to filter out the lake's toxic salts, and as a consequence, they thrive in immense numbers. As spring arrives, strange calls echo through the trees. The mating season has arrived for one of North America's most heavily armed dinosaurs. Triceratops. When its warmth finally returns after the long winter, feathered ornithomimus are quick to take advantage. These fleet-footed travelers are among the fastest runners of all dinosaurs, capable of covering vast distances in search of fresh vegetation. They're so fast that they're very difficult for predators to catch. After a tough winter, this female Nanuksaur needs to make a kill soon. A smaller relative of T-Rex, but more agile and, critically, faster. Oh. <sighs> 